Ladies and gentlemen, did I think on December 24th, Christmas Eve, I was going to be waking up and making a video for you? No, I did not. I thought I was done. I did an interview yesterday with Grant. That video is absolutely killing it. Thank you guys so much. I couldn't appreciate it more, but we got some late breaking news. And honestly, you know what? There's nothing I'd rather do with my time than chat to your faces. So uh, you're going to have to excuse everything about this video. The fact that I'm in a room with horrible lighting, there's going to be a shadow behind me so you can actually see my face. There's a, a mattress here. There's uh, tools here. I mean, I'm just at my in-laws and I'm in the basement and I'm trying to be quiet so I don't disrupt everything going upstairs. And just being a weirdo talking to himself in a room downstairs. If you appreciate that, hit that subscribe button. That's all I ask. Give me a Merry Christmas from your family to mine. Hit that subscribe button. Like 65% of you guys watching aren't subscribed. Hit that button it would make my life just that much more merry this holiday season okay let's get right into it we'll keep this one short to the point concise so you can get back to watching football and drinking this holiday season has given us many blessings yesterday's interview with grant was incredible we talked a little bit about collaborations with him garrett and him and good good sounded very promising i came out of that interview Basically, my reaction to that interview was going to be 1000% they're collaborating. I was certain of it. The way he talked about everything, like it's coming 100%. They've been talking, you know, he was kind of being secretive about like, you'll see what's happening. You'll see what's coming this year. There was a collab coming early this year, 100%. Why else would Garrett have posted that Netflix Instagram trailer photo thing the other day? All until today's podcast from Good Good came out on their podcast channel Garrett and Matt Kendrick talking about trying to hype up the Good Good tournament that they're hosting down in Phoenix in like a couple, uh, five, six weeks, something like that. The creator call out event where all creators are basically invited, all top YouTube creators. Their goal is to have them all in a two man scramble format. Garrett had some very interesting things to say. They were calling out all creators by name, which was cool to see. Good for them because I think if they didn't take that initiative, I've definitely heard from creators in the background before, like, well, if they don't invite me, I'm not going to go kind of thing. So I think it's good that Garrett took the initiative to call them all out by name. But Matt Kendrick towards the end brought up, well, what about Garrett and Micah? We haven't talked about them yet. Let me roll the clip for you and then we're going to react to it. Other than, like I said, Kendrick and I, all the good guys, we're going to be making a bunch of phone calls, seeing who we can get to show up uh, for all you folks Grant, at home. Micah, watch. Whew. We didn't we didn't say those yet. <laughs> We've been talking. 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 We've been having a lot of phone calls the last couple of days. We'll just say... Um, I'm excited for my team. I'm going to say that. So I'm excited okay. for my two-man team. I think my two-man team is going to take everybody down, and I think I'm going to win. That's that's what I'm going to say. I mean, like, it's happening. Like, that is it. I, so I didn't see this coming whatsoever because I really, really fully thought that the reunion of these two would be some sort of video and now it could still be there could be something that preempts this right we still got six weeks that's lots of time for them to film an 18 hole match garrett versus grant whatever but i am telling you with a 99 percent certainty that these two are teaming up for this event if you just listen to that clip as soon as garrett is asked i mean he said it at the beginning that he's extremely excited for his partner but then when matt asked specifically about garrett and micah garrett's first reaction is like all right, well, yeah, uh, there's been a lot of phone calls. We've been on the phone a lot this week, and I'm very excited for my team. Like that, if that's not confirmation, I don't know what is. If that's not hook, line, and sinker, if that's not signing the contract and putting the wax stamp on it, I don't know what else is. That is, it's happening. After my interview yesterday, talking with Grant, and I literally texted Grant, I'll show you guys the text this morning, and I'm like, you guys are 100% a team. I'm saying this 1% chance I'm wrong. Because, you know, I'm, I'm an honest man. I'm not going to sit here and say I'm 100% right about anything. And you best believe if uh, if all of a sudden they're not on a team, I'm going to come here and I'm going to put my hand up. I'm going to say I'm wrong. But I'm also going to tell you that if they're not on a team, it's because something between now and then happened to make them not on a team. Because they're on a team right now. That is absolute statistical fact analysis. And I think, number one, that's amazing for the tournament. That's going to do really big things, especially if it's their first reunion thing. I mean, that's just really good for the tournament. So kudos to Grant for like being willing to do that if that is the case. Obviously, there's value to him and his brand. And you know, I was saying, I said this to Grant in his interview yesterday, like Grant went from being a part of one of the biggest entities in YouTube golf to singularly being one of the biggest entities in YouTube golf. Like really, there are like four or five needle movers at the top and Grant is one of them. Grant is an entity just as big as Good Good, just as big as Rick Shields. Just, and obviously I know numbers wise, maybe not, but like, just in terms of that power he has right up there at Bob to Sports, like there are some big players in the space and Grant has asserted himself individually as one of those players. So it's just, I mean, 
it, it's brands coming together it's great it's collaboration it's the reunion we've all wanted to see it's being done in a way that's a little bit different but i think will be entertaining honestly just hearing them talk about the live streaming like i wasn't sure how much of the live streaming stuff was like you know out there and whatever like i heard them say like yeah live stream but also they were both like yeah maybe i don't know and now it's like well that's live stream like they're saying it very definitively saying it's going to be garrett said it's gonna be a pga tour level live stream i mean come on that's just like that's hopes and dreams coming true if we can display something like that live tracers are talking about like all of the things you would want to see half a million dollar plus broadcast based off the fact they said it's going to cost as much as a nice house which i'm assuming in texas somewhere between 500,000 to a million dollars that's a lot of money to be investing into this concept so if it works that's amazing i think it is really good and proof of concept for the future youtube golf and you better believe like there are, there are lots of people that want youtube golf to like have this sort of like ability to like host these live events to host these tournament style things for creators and compete on a more like normal scale with like live and pga obviously those are always going to be different entities but on top of just our youtube videos to have like a youtube based tournament be amazing so anyway i mean once again like obviously i am affiliated with good good but i'm also not i'm not affiliated with good good i'm just sponsored by them but i still want to see this tournament succeed regardless of all that like it's not just because of that it's because of the fact that like i formally formally fully 100 percent whatever christmas brain i believe that this is a massive step forward for the community so i'm championing this tournament i will continue to champion this tournament and if brian bros or whoever else hosts a tournament i'm gonna champion it the same way this is very very important for our space so hit that subscribe button if you appreciate the emergency press conference update i will see you guys after christmas no chance i'm uploading december 25th unless something crazy happens i love you guys i'll see you in the next one take it easy